Happy Wednesday, Boalia Desmond here. Thank you for tuning in. Today is Wealth Wednesday, so I hope you are able to participate by doing a random act of kindness for a stranger. So today I wanted to talk to you um, using the acronym TRUST, because today we're gonna brag on God and we're just gonna bring him to the forefront. I think today's important for us to just think about him, bring him to the forefront and brag on him for a little bit. Because I want you to think about, you know, the word faithful. When you think about that in terms of your relationship with Christ, what does that make you feel like? What does that mean to you? How does that sound to you when you think about him and, and yourself and, and the word faithful? What does that mean? So in terms of trust, T, tell him. Tell him what it means for you to have him as your Lord and Savior. Tell him what the things that that are troubling you, the things that you are thankful for, the things that you you have questions about. You know, if he if he was standing in front of you today and he asked you a question, what would you tell him? What would you ask him? What are the things that you would want him to know? So tell him. Our rest in his in his um, peace. You know, in Tetelestai Ministries, our life verses, Psalm 4610, be still and know. Know that you can rest in his care. Know that regardless of what it is that is going on, that he, he the Bible says he, ne he neither sleeps nor slumbers. So you can rest knowing that he has you in the palm of his hands, knowing that he has everything under control for you. And that he loves you and he cares about every detail about you. You. He understands you. Even in the times when you're confused about, about life or confused about the things that may be happening in your life and you have no understanding, he understands you. He understands your, your desires. He understands your pain. He understands everything about you. Even when you feel like you're all alone, he understands. When you feel like nobody cares, he understands. When you feel like somebody has wronged you, he understands. He understands you. S, seek him with all of your heart. The Bible says if we seek him, we will find him. It says ask seek, knock. Seek him in every circumstance that you're going through. Seek him through his word. Because it says you will find him. That's, that's a promise. He's everywhere. On a bright sunny day, you can look up and you can, you know that he's there. You can seek him through that. You can seek him when, when you're completely 100% satisfied with the way that your life is going you can still seek him you can seek him when you're in a valley he's there and then t thank him thank him that you got to see another day thank him that you have family who loves you thank him that you have children thank him that for all the miracles that he has performed in your life or the things that you have prayed for and they've come to pass Thank him for the things that you're still waiting to see happen. See, number one, you can thank him that you, you have the relationship to be able to tell him anything. Or that you can rest in his peace. Thank him that, you, that he understands you when nobody else does. Thank him that we can find him when we seek him with all of our heart. And thank him that he created you and that he accepts you. And there's, there's nothing that you can do that will make him love you any less than he already does. Because he's worthy of praise and thanksgiving. So today I just wanted to brag on him. I wanted, I wanted us to think about him and to just take these minutes to bring him to the forefront. So I thank you for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow.